Tonight I want to show you <coughs> this little camera. It's uh, I think this one was made by Storage Option, but there's made they're made by lots of different companies and they're uh, usually made in China, and usually the the letters after them are S O one. So I currently use this camera at my friend's farm that he, he likes to keep an eye on it. So what we wanted to do was to be able to control a light from it. So that's what I'm going to show you tonight, how you can control a light or, in fact, any appliance. You can turn off any, on and off any electrical appliance using this little camera, but it needs a wee bit of modification. So what you do is you start, you flip the camera upside down and there's four screws, one there, there, there and there. I've already took them out. You'll usually find these wee covers over the top of them. So you just flick this thing off. Should come off. Right. And that's you into the base of the thing. So, what you've got to do is, I don't know if the camera can get in on this or not. I'll bring this light in, see if we can get a clear shot of this. Quite difficult to see. Are you picking that up? Mm -hmm. Is it in focus? Mm -hmm. Right, so this little terminal here, this is the one that I have to solder onto. I have to solder just a wire onto this here. And in order to get a feed, because in the software that is the one that's hidden in the software that you can turn, it provides a pulse and it can turn a relay on and off. So what I done was, I got a relay off of eBay, I think that was about a pound, just a single channel relay, and the wire gets soldered into there and it goes onto one of these connectors. So I purchased that, I also purchased some of this, this cable which makes it a bit easier to connect the relay. I have some of these Wago we go connectors, they were fine, and a little electrical box here. So the first thing I'm going to do is is cut the power cable because we need to cut the the power cable. That's I'll put that the other now. This is the power cable for the camera. And this normally goes into here. So what I have to do is I have to cut somewhere maybe about twelve inches of cable and because I need to tap into that cable in order to power up this relay. So that's what I'll do at the moment. So, just a set of snips. And obviously we can speed this up, got to be a bit more to watch. So we snip into there, we then use my... The, the, whatever these things are called again. Can I remember at this moment? <laughs> wire strippers! Yes, wire strippers! There we go. Thing with the, the cables back, and then we strip a bit of wire off of there, a bit of wire off of there, and then what we can also do at this moment, I should have actually done this earlier on, we feed, we feed our wire through here. I should have done this before I stripped the wire, but never mind, that's the in. So we strip that through there, separate that. Just using the adapter, and what we do, we take these Wego Wego connectors. The easiest way to do these things is just to open them all up. So we need, I think it's two or three of them we need in here. So that's them there, and then what we do with this one, we feed, we just make a hole in this wee box here. I think you're meant to use glands, but we'll no bother with that. It's going to be undercover anyway, it's no outside. And then I'll strip these wires as well. That'll give myself a little bit more. And... Is that one done? And that one done. So, I do this up a little. So what we then do is... With these tiny wee wires, I usually give them a wee bend just to double them up. And we pop that in there. And we snap down it and that gives it a good fit. And we do exactly the same. We'll give that a wee bend. And we pop that in there. I've done this before. I've never had any problem with these connectors. And we also do the same with this side. We'll give it a B bend. Pop that into there. 
and if I gave myself more room, never mind. Into there. So that's them all connected up, positive and negative. So the next thing we do is take this ribbon cable and we're going to put positive and negative into there to feed the relay. Now I don't know if you can see in this relay how clear that comes out. VCC, that's your normal 5 volt uh, power supply, GND that's your ground and then this is the pulsing circuit that it will put, uh, it'll switch this relay on and off so I'll just select any three wires from there just as long as you remember the colours so pull that off and so what we'll do in this situation is we'll go well, we'll make purple well, in fact let's start at the other end, it'll be easier so our pulsing wire is white, our ground is grey, and our VCC, that's our power supply, is purple. So what I then do is I chop them at the other end to get them into these wire blocks and just spread them out. Feed them through one of these holes. Let's see, we'll just go. Let's pop that screwdriver through. Right. So, what did we say again? Our purple with VCC. So we put a purple wire into this one up. Right. What by doing you don't need to pop that through, that's for the other wire come out. These these are all going inside. Silly me. So we'll trim that one. Need that a bit more actually. And we said the grey was ground. I'll leave that one then out. So what? tend to do with these wee thin wires, I've given them a few turns. As I say, I've never had any trouble going into these Wago connectors. So, I said grey was ground. Fine and purple with power. So that then that'll then power up this relay. So I'll leave that at the moment. So the next thing we have to do is this is going to be a pulsing wire, and we'll leave that in there at the moment. And this wire's got to this wire's got to connect into this pin that I showed you earlier on, but I'm going to make up an extension lead here and solder that uh, a black wire onto this little pin here. So I'll cut the camera at this point and then I'll show you me soldering it on. Clap. Now what I'm going to do is now is modify the camera base in order to feed uh, this wire that I'm going to solder on. So what I've done was, that's a camera like that, so I went in for the side there, up to that pin, so I just pick a spot, just at the base here, so I can get the, the bottom back on, like that better, oh dear, There we go, don't want to damage any electronics or anything. So what I then do is, I feed this cable through this little hole and back up to there so I can then solder it onto that second pin. 
what I found the best way was uh, one of these little things so you can fish the cable up So my next bit is to twist this cable and I've got to tin it up for soldering. So oh, I forgot to put the solder iron on, so I'll cut the video again, put the solder on and I'll show, me, I'll show you me soldering it onto this pin there. Two seconds. So this is what we're going to do now is do our soldering iron. So get your iron right hot and keep the tip clean. So just use a wee bit a wee wet, wet rag. And what you then do is <coughs> you get some of the solder and you put the, I think it's called tinning it up. So that's it, that looks fine. And what we do then with the wire is we put that onto the wire and we run a little solder down it. And that's just enough. So what we then do is take this wire, I don't know if Ryan can see that. We then try and place it. Oh dear, I'm trying to balance this on a cup, which is not easy. Place that on that connector, the second one. So, let's go for that. There you go, that seems to be on. I don't seem to be bridging anything else, so that seems quite secure, and that's it, and we've got the, the tail of that wire coming off, so all we we'll have to do now is put the base back on, and then wire that lead into the base of that box, so I'll put the base back on, and then I'll show you going into the base of this box, so we're back in two seconds. Right, as you can see I've put the base back on, four screws in, and what you can actually do just put, pop these wee covers back over the top. Don't know why I take that one in. Not in there. Anyway, so that's that back on. I left with my trailing lead. So what I then do is back to my little junction box. And if you remember, it was a white wire. It was a pulsing wire. That was the one. So what I do is <coughs> I lead. I'll just put it through this box. I've already made a hole here, I think. This is my wire coming from the camera that I've adapted. And then I pop that into another Wego connector. Just pop that into there. Nice and tight. And then I strip the last remaining wire, the white one that I'm using for the pulsing wire. the middle one. So that's everything connected in there now with a little box. So what we can then do is test. See if the relay powers up and if it's grounding it. And if the if the relay really is getting grounded this green light comes on. And once the camera's properly powered up the green light goes off and that means that the relay is open and uh, the light would be off and then you go into the software of this camera and then you can make it go back on so we'll power up this camera just give me two seconds pop that in there and uh, if my assistant could well, let me see can you plug that into the wall is there... now this is the next bit where we now boot up the camera with the uh, everything connected so i've plugged the socket into the wall and you can see that the relay is powered up so, but it's, it's not connected to the camera yet, so what we do is we then connect to the power socket of the camera. Now, we wait for the camera to boot up, and when the camera finally comes connected, you'll see the green light going on, and that means it's got ground. So, 
it's what you want to do here, you want to have it permanently ground and when it's ground that means between these two terminals it'll be the circuit should be then opened because this one I think is called normally closed so there it's white and green so we have to figure out which one is normally open when it really powers up because one's normally closed and one's normally open so the easiest way to do this is to get your ohms meter and then you put it on resistance and then that's obviously at the uh, open so what we look for here is uh, let me see put it against something see if we can maybe keep that in the shot it's quite difficult so I'll then what happens here is uh, when you go to wire see the light like this or any light it's just the normal power lead would go into the common and the common is always the middle one and then the power lead out will be either one of these sides so I'll connect that I'll, put, I'll actually put this at this side see if you can see this all in the one shot so common in the middle and then so that's obviously open at that side so that's the side we want to wire into if we check the other side that'll have continuity so in the software that would actually be light light off and then when we then that's got open circuit and then when we hit light on this then has continuity through it so this is the one that we want to wire our positive feed into now I was going to show you the app that I use to control uh, this camera so what I've got here is called IP camera viewer and it's for Apple or Android and you can get the light version which is free so I'll open that up now this is the one that's on the farm at the moment so what you get is they're pan and tilt cameras they're really meant for inside these cameras but this is in a shed so they work fine they've worked for the last three or four years so what you do is you go to the click that you hit the PTZ preset and you see down near there's a, the light icon you, you click that and then you can put the light on and the light off so by default when you boot it up the light is off and you've got to hit light on and when you do that I can't, I've not connected to this at the moment but when you click light on that green light goes out and that's what completes the circuit and I'll also show you on the, the PC the using the software which is, has the, the built in web browser in the camera that you can control the same function this is a you launch onto the web and you use the web browser, there's a built in web browser within the camera so you can see this is the storage option one and uh, I've logged into my camera obviously there it's there now in order to get this uh, really to click on and off it's down here at the bottom it's this symbol here so it says Java controller on which is currently on and you click that to put it off and the putting it off brings the light on so that's how you do it within the web browser and by the way the best web browser to control this little camera is Internet Explorer I think it's because of DirectX it gives you far more options that you can do things in it than say Chrome or any other browser so hope that helps, cheers now the last thing I should explain to you is how you then wire the device into this relay now here in the UK we have three wires you have your brown or your red which is positive you have your blue which is negative and your yellow green which is earth now the best way to do this if say you were to plug at one end and then the device was at the other at the other end you just take it and cut into the wire and what you do is you then connect up your uh, your earth obviously you then connect up your neutral and what you do with the split positive you put one positive wire in there say from the the plug which would be common that would be your power source and the other positive wire coming out there and that would then complete the circuit and that's how you wire this little really in fact there's other uh, tutorials on the web I'm sure under Raspberry Pi how to wire this really which uh, that's how I discovered how to do this in the first place as well so if there's any questions just leave them in the comments and I'll try to respond to them thanks for watching and please subscribe thank you